How excited are you to be a Celtic? Pretty excited. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, grew up down the road in Rhode Island. It's a pretty, pretty special feeling to come back to Is this your favorite team? Growing up, yeah, uh, definitely. You know, I mean, it, was, it, was the, it was the local team for us to root for here. Right? So, um, grew up, yeah, definitely being a Celtics fan. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't really have one specific, you know, player. I just, I just, you know, enjoyed watching the teams play, and you know, even when they struggled, and then you know, when they got good, it was, it was pretty cool. How's the last couple months been? Around so much. Yeah, for sure. It's been uh, it's been hectic, you know. It's been, but it's been a lot of fun too. Um, I really enjoyed it. You know, learning a lot about the business side of things, and then you know, going overseas and playing with Finland. Uh, it's been a busy summer, um, but you know, it's, it's all a learning experience, and I'm, I'm taking it as I go, and I'm um, just excited for this opportunity. What did you think about when you found out about the trade? Obviously, you know, down in high school, it was five. It was uh, kind of a nice thing there. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it was unexpected, it kind of came out of nowhere, but it was definitely, you know, it was definitely a cool feeling, um, you know, coming back home, essentially, you know, to New England, and I went to, I went to high school uh, up in South Pro, St. Mark's, uh, so I'm coming back to Massachusetts to play, it was, it's pretty, it's a pretty special feeling. Did you go to any Celtics games? Yeah, growing up, yeah, I went to a couple, um, here and there, you know, whenever I could, whenever I wasn't, you know, running around playing, it was, you know, always, during the season, you know, I was always busy, but you know, I got to a couple for sure. What was the last one you went to? My sophomore year of high school. It was a long time ago. That was the last one I could get to, so yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Yep. Any of you view your situation, obviously, you know, they got 20 guys in the game, there aren't going to be 20 guys on the team on opening night, so how do you kind of view what's going to happen? Um, you know, I'm just going to, you know, personally just, just do whatever I can to, you know, you know, help the team in, in that time and uh, you know, just, you know, try to focus on the things that I can control and, you know, ultimately the decision will be made, you know, for, you know, the guys, that, for all the guys that don't make the team, but that's not, that's not our decision, it's not in our control, so all we can do is just, you know, work hard and, and, and do whatever we can to help the team. Do you see that you, you can have a spot here, is that what they told you? Um, I feel like, you know, you know I'm always confident in myself. Uh, I feel like you know I, I can definitely play uh, at this level, and you know it all depends on situation and, and um, you know finding the, find the right spot, finding a role in that situation. Did you play with? Uh, did you play here with Nick? No, we missed each other. I missed him. Yeah, um, he was he got there the year after. I left. What does it say for you know, the fact that you're here? He's obviously drafted pretty high for St. Mark's program. Yeah, we had some really good teams. Um, you know. Over the years, even before I got there, they had some pretty good teams where they wouldn't leave. And then, you know, uh, I went in with a pretty good class, a group of guys that were in my class. And uh, I think, you know, we continued to build that program. You know, it was, we had a great coach, David Lubick, and uh, he's not coaching there anymore. But, um, you know, we, we definitely had a special run there. We're almost talking about the Finland fans at the World Cup. What are some of your lasting impressions of that? Oh, man, that was... Uh, that was it was a special experience for sure. You know, we had you know Finland's not known for its basketball, but um, you know I think the, the country really rallied behind us. And I think uh, we had something like ten thousand fans travel, which was by far the most, except Spain, because that was the, that was the host country. But um, we had a lot of fans there, and they were all uh, pretty rowdy. Um, they were excited, so it was it was definitely a special experience to play in front of them. And you know they gave they. They gave us a lot of love, and it was uh, it was really cool to uh, you know play in front of them. Would you like to do that going Yeah, for sure. I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna definitely keep doing it, and uh, hopefully I can. I think my my middle brother Alex, who's in Florida now, he played with the under 20 team a couple of years ago. Um, I think he's gonna play with play with them too, and then you know down the road eventually get my youngest brother to play too. So it'd be pretty cool for all three of us to be able to do that at the same time. Uh, I talked to him briefly uh, on the phone. Um, it was Friday afternoon when I was coming back um, from Cleveland. Uh, didn't talk too much about you know anything basketball related. Just kind of you know welcome, excited to have you, and uh, just trying to figure out what the schedule is going to be because you know I, I was just flying in real quick trade. So uh, you know I, I haven't talked to him too much about that yet, but you know. Uh, 
him, he, he's easy. He was just, he, all he was saying was, you know, all we talked about was just welcome and excited. I'm, I'm excited to be here, they're excited to have me, and we'll see where it goes from there. Did you try to recruit him? No, I was, I think I was a, a year, it might have been a year before, I don't know. Not really sure the time, but no, they tried to recruit Alex, though, and then uh, I'm sure they'll try to recruit Thomas. Thank you.